Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ziplo here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to complete both of Adler's Operator mission sets that you can get from the Season 1 Battle Pass. The first set that you immediately get when you first buy the Battle Pass is called the Urban Infiltration Mission Set. The second set that you get is called Born for Battle, and this one you unlock at Tier 90 of the Battle Pass. Uh, and this one is actually free for everyone, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, it's the only mission set that you can actually get for free without buying the Battle Pass. So if you don't have the battle pass, you can still get this uh, skin. And yeah, the urban infiltration mission set is the first one that you get, like I said. So I'll be showing you guys how to complete this one first. And then I'll show you guys how to complete the next, the second one after. So if you want to skip ahead just to go to the born for battle uh, mission set because you already completed the first one, for example. Um, I'll leave a timestamp down below of when I start doing that one so that you guys can just skip ahead and you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to find it yourself in the video. So if this video helps you out in any way, uh, or if you enjoy my content, or if you enjoy this video in particular, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support that I've been getting. Hopefully after this video, we can get to 500 subs because I think I'm really close to that. And yeah, let's get right into this video. Starting off with the first objective in the Urban Infiltration Mission Set. The objective is to get 15 eliminations with silenced weapons. Uh, so, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Just play matches with silenced weapons. Make sure you have either the regular suppressor or the Gru suppressor. You can do this in Warzone or you can do this in Cold War, but I recommend doing it in Cold War just because, like I always say, um, it's just easier. I play Nuketown a lot whenever I do these missions in multiplayer, and I just find it way more easier and faster. Um, and yeah, you just drop in, get 15 kills with your, with your weapon, and then, uh, and then you'll get, you know, the challenge to complete. For the second objective in the Urban Infiltration Mission Set, the objective is to get five eliminations on people that have uh, been flashed by your flash grenade. Uh, so this um, this mission is actually really easy to do uh, theoretically, but the problem with this mission is you have to do it in Warzone. You cannot do it in multiplayer because in multiplayer they call like Cold War calls their flash grenades flash bangs, and I guess it doesn't read. Or at least when I was trying to do it, it wasn't reading the challenge. Like it wasn't completing my challenge. It kept saying zero out of five. So I finally figured it out. I went to Warzone. I played Rebirth Island. I recommend you guys doing that too uh, for many reasons because you get your loadouts faster and you get a lot of money quicker and you just drop in, you know what I mean? And uh, the way that you do it in Rebirth is you have to find the flash grenades first. So you'll find them on the ground. And then um, if not, you can always get the loadout and get your flash grenades from the loadout. And uh, what I would recommend is getting a munitions box from the buy stations and just keep on refilling your flashbangs whenever you lose them, if you use them. And also you can refill them in the ammo uh, crate stations or whatever that they have around the map. And um, and yeah, whenever you down someone, you can always fl you can flash them and it'll count. So that's why these mission this mission is actually really easy to do. It's just a matter of, you know, getting lucky sometimes with because sometimes you know whenever you down someone their teammate might be right next to them so it's hard to throw a flash grenade and then shoot the guy on the ground um but if you're just focused on doing the mission uh you can always just you know go for the kill or whatever and just die but like i said sometimes this mission can be frustrating so i mean it just takes time and like i said it's easy to do once you down them all you do is just throw the flash grenade and then kill them while they're on the ground and that will count as one you know out of the five that you need to eliminate for the third objective in the urban infiltration mission set all you have to do is just use five uh uavs or spy planes and you can use uavs in warzone or spy planes in cold war multiplayer uh, the way i did it was in cold war but if you have warzone only or if you just want to do it in warzone all you have to do is just uh, go to buy stations uh, use four hundred four thousand dollars to buy uavs and just use them or you can find the uavs in crates if you get lucky and then um but in cold war i mean each game usually grants you like three to four spy planes per game so all you have to do is just usually play like two multiplayer games and you should get the challenge and then on your screen it'll show you that uh you unlock the challenge of course and yeah that's pretty much it for this objective for the last objective in the urban infiltration mission set all you have to do is just get five point blank medals and if you don't know what a point blank medal is it's just basically being up and close to a person close enough at least to where uh you kill them and then on your screen it'll tell you on the top that you got a point blank medal and that's how you know when you got one and all you have to do is just do this five times and then once you do you'll see on the top of your screen that you got you know the objective and you were rewarded it and yeah that's pretty much it and then you'll be done with all of the urban infiltration mission set now for the first objective in the born to battle um operator mission set that you get with adler at tier 90 
Um, the first objective is basically just to get 25 eliminations with any assault rifle. So I mean, it is self-explanatory and it is easy to do. Uh, I recommend doing this in multiplayer. You can do this in Warzone or Rebirth Island, but I mean, I don't see why you would. It would just take longer. Uh, if you want to get this mission done faster, just play multiplayer. Uh, any game mode, I play Nuketown and... Um, and yeah, just you'll eventually get it as long as you just get kills with your assault rifle. And you'll see on your screen once you uh, finish this mission, it will tell you on your screen. If you do it in Cold War, it will tell you that uh, you unlocked it. It won't tell you if you do it in Warzone. So that's like one of the reasons why I don't like playing Warzone a lot too for doing these missions. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this objective. For the second objective in the Born to Battle mission set, all you have to do is just kill 10 downed enemies. So I mean, it is self-explanatory and really easy. Uh, my tip to you is just finish off the enemies when once you like down them like just finish them off quickly don't even worry about the other guys unless you feel confident about killing the other people around him but the problem with that is that like say if you run into a full man squad and you down like three of the guys and then you kill the last guy then i don't think it counts to the objective so it was like pointless to kill you know what i mean so it's just better to just finish the guys that you down and so that you don't have to run into problems like that uh, but other than that, once you complete the objective at the end, uh, once you go to the character, you should see that you completed it and it should be all good. For the third objective in the Born to Battle mission set, all you have to do is just resupply your teammates 20 times with either the assault pack in multiplayer or the munitions box in like Warzone or Rebirth Island. And I recommend doing this in multiplayer just because you have more teammates to resupply uh, whenever you drop the assault pack. And, uh, and yeah, you usually get the assault pack like three or four times a game. So, I mean, you can keep on dropping it, you know what I mean? And uh, a tip to do it is just do it with your friends. Like, that's the easiest way because if you do it with your friends, uh, right when you drop it, you can just tell them, oh, pick up my assault pack. And then, you know, that's like five, that's five assault packs per, you know, um, per every time you use it. So, I mean, it's better. Or you could just do it in Warzone and then you can just keep on buying munitions boxes and then tell your friends to just like waste their ammo and then pick it up and that will count too. But I mean, I just think it's faster doing it in multiplayer, but you could do it whichever way you want. Um, doing it with friends is easier. If you're playing by yourself and you want a tip, uh, you can use the ping system in game and just keep on pinging the assault pack whenever you drop it and then people will usually notice it, uh, especially if you're playing like Nuketown for example, I think it's just uh, you can just drop it and then ping it or you could team back you could tee back the box like the assault pack box and then people will look at you like weird or curious and then they'll see it and then they'll pick it up you know what i mean because like dropping an assault pack doesn't hurt them it, it only makes it better for them you know what i mean so that's a tip if you do play by yourself for the last and final objective for the born to battle mission set for adler's last operator skin all you have to do is just get five avenger medals and if you don't know what an Avenger medal is, it's just basically like getting a trade for your teammate. Uh, you just basically have to kill um, whoever killed your teammate uh, like really fast, I guess. So a good way of doing this is just baiting your teammates in game. I recommend doing this in multiplayer. I'm not sure if you could do this in, in Warzone, but I'm pretty sure if you could do it in Warzone, it's probably a little bit uh, harder and would probably take longer to do. Um, but yeah, just do it in multiplayer, do it in Newtown or whatever multiplayer map. And just all you have to do is just basically avenge your teammates. It'll tell you on the top whenever you do get one of these medals. So it's not like uh, you have to track it yourself. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Once you do finish this challenge, it'll tell you on the top of your screen um, that you completed it. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed or if this video helped you out in any way, please leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subs. So hopefully at the end of this video, uh, when I make my next video, we're already at 500 subs. Uh, that would be really cool. And yeah, you can leave a comment down below on which operator you want me to do next or just leave a comment in general. I try to read every single comment and reply to all of them. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.